All right, for Wingate, we have uh, head coach Jeff Gregory and starting pitcher Dylan Story. Uh, coach, open up the opening statement and then we'll open up the questions. Um, man, just a good college baseball game. Uh, I thought I thought their club battled hard. I thought our club battled hard. Uh, it came down to a couple of moments in the game, uh, and they took advantage of some opportunities that they had, pushed some runs across. Um, we did the same thing on the back end. We just, you know, at, at the end of the game, we had an opportunity to score, and, and you know, their guy shut us down at the back end of it. But I thought their pitching staff did a phenomenal job. I thought defensively they did a fantastic job. Likewise with our guys, I thought Dylan was really good on the mound. Uh, I thought he competed and battled really, really well. Gave us an opportunity. I thought our defense played well. Um, you know, and it was just a, a good back and forth college baseball game and a regional play. Coach, talk to me about your team's effort fighting the whole way. You know, when they got down 3-1, Barnett hit that home run to get you guys back into it. Talk about that late inning rally there. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, baseball's a funny thing. You know, it's everybody's going to get their opportunities to finish out. It doesn't like, it's not like you're going to run out of time or run out of the clock. And, and so every out that you get, you got to be able to take an opportunity. And I think it's a credit to our guys as far as how they've worked and, and you know, how they wanted to compete. And the weather kind of gets bleak when you give up a couple of runs late in the ball game. you still got outs that you got to play with. Sean came up, <clears throat> you know, took a, a hanging breaking ball, in my opinion, and, and hit out of the ballpark. And then, you know, Breon, you know, uh, or Brett followed with a good at bat, just didn't give me anything to show for it. Breon, you know, was able to get on base. And then, you know, <clears throat> go first and third on Mike's play and put us in a situation where we had runners first and third with one out. Um, you know, and, and that's the only thing you can ask for is you put yourself in those chances and put yourself in those opportunities and hopefully you come through. Come, talk to me about story here, true freshman, five innings pitch, putting him in a game like this in the eliminated nation game, the trust you have in him. Oh, I have a ton of trust with him, obviously. I mean, put him in that situation and, you know, throughout the year we've been using him out of the bullpen. So he's been in some crucial moments and he, so he's been kind of in the fire, so to speak. Uh, and, you know, just keeps getting better. And it's a credit to what he's doing, the work level he's putting in. And obviously there's some guys around him that are challenging him and, and kind of wanting to see his best. And, you know, he came out today and I thought he was fantastic. He had, you know, fastball and breaking ball work, you know, working as, as far as two primary flash a change up that would get some outs when he needed to. Um, and I think that was a key to success, getting as deep in the, in the ball game as he did. Dylan, we'll move over to you. Five innings pitch. You already pitched once this regional. What are you looking forward to the rest of your career here at Wingate moving forward? Um, obviously, another national championship. That'd be nice. Uh, we got a good group of guys, even freshman class coming in. And all around, we're going to be a good ball team. Coach, talk to me about this season. South Atlantic champions, nothing to hang your head on. Won a game in a regional against the really tough North Greenville team. Talk to me about this season. Um, I think for the most part, regular season-wise, it's a little bit of a roller coaster. We battled through some injuries. <clears throat> um, you know, we had a little bit of some newness on our club, and those guys needed to gain some experience. And so throughout the year, we would play well for stretches, and then there were stretches that we didn't play well. And even going into the conference tournament, you know, we dropped like five straight going into it. We played okay. We just didn't have anything to show for it. You know, and even going into the conference tournament, um, played poorly, in my opinion, in the first game and, and took a pretty bad beat. But then they responded well, you know, in a moment where their back's against the wall um, and fought to get to this point. And even, you know, throughout the whole regional and everything else, we're still fighting, you know, to, to see how long we could, you know, keep playing another game. And so I think it's a credit to them. I think it's a credit to what – our program's about about the fact that we want to compete, and you know, and we do want to be in this situation on a regular, you know, regular basis. It's it's a competitive region, it's a competitive conference, and and you have to battle, you know, every game that you play to be able to get to this point. So to be able to end the season right here, I mean, it's a tribute to what they've done. You know, obviously the goal is you don't want your season to end right here, but that's when you start getting to the back end of the season at this point in time, I mean, that's difficult because every team that you're going to play here is good, and every team deserves to be here. And so I think the challenge as far as moving forward, you know, I think our guys did a good job of passing along, like, hey, this is what our expectation wants to be. Um, this is what our challenge wants to be. And it's, the question is, can the, the next group that comes through, can they rise to that challenge? Can they work hard enough to be able to put them back in this situation? And that's going to be difficult. But I think, uh, I think those guys are understanding the challenge that lays ahead of them. And, and hopefully we can be back again in the same spot next year. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you, guys. Dylan, Thank you. Dylan, one question for you. Uh, did you change your approach? Um, from the last time you faced Mount Oliver, do you think you just executed better um, this game than the last last appearance? I definitely focused more on getting the all-speed man there. Um, that's about it. Yeah. Well, I changed up. So. Yeah, I think that was the key for him. Like, he was landing the breaking ball today, and then they couldn't just sit on one pitch. And that's a good adjustment from a freshman to be able to do that. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you.